in this class we discuss the convergence of an improper integration now the improper integration is integration 0 to pi tan x by x dx okay and we have to test the convergence of this integration if we see that at the point 0 it is looks like that 0 is the point of infinite discontinuity but this is not true why because if we get or take limit x is to 0 tan x by x this is given by limit x tends to 0 sin x by x into 1 by cos x. So this is 1 and this is 1 by 1. So this is 1. And this is finite. 1 is finite. So 0 is not a point of infinite discontinuity. Okay. Now similarly, x equal to pi, this is obviously not a point of infinite discontinuity because at x equal to pi tan pi this is equal to 0 and so the function is 0 by pi not equal to 0 or not equal to sorry not equal to infinity so pi is also a not a point of infinite discontinuity but here is an indeed intermediate point which is pi by 2 this is at pi by 2 tan pi by 2 is undefined okay so x equal to pi by 2 is a point of infinite discontinuity so we split the interval 0 to pi in two interval the first one is integration 0 to pi by 2 plus second one is pi by 2 to 0 sorry pi by 2 to pi and we name this two integration as i1 plus i okay now we first consider the integration i1 and this is given by integration 0 to pi by 2 tan x by x dx. Here we take another function or we use the mu test directly. Okay. Now since the point of infinite discontinuity on the upper range that is at the pi by 2 so we take here pi by 2 minus x to the power mu and here we take pi by 2 minus x to the power 1 that is mu this is equal to 1 now we find out the limit the limiting value is limit x tends to pi by 2 minus 0 because it is upper limit pi by 2 minus x into fx fx means tan x by x okay now put pi by 2 minus x this is equal to z and x this is equal to pi by 2 minus z and we get this limit as limit z tends to 0 and this is z and tan of pi by 2 minus z by pi by 2 minus z okay and this is equal to limit z tends to 0 z into or z by pi by 2 minus z and we get limit z tends to 0 z by this is cot z means cos by sine so this is sin z into cos z by pi by 2 minus z and by taking limit we get this value is 1 and this is also 1 by pi by 2 so the limit is 2 by pi right the limit is 2 by pi so l equal to 2 by pi that is non-zero and non-infinity that is non-zero finite value of l so this new test says that integration a to b fx dx 
is convergent if and only if mu less than 1. Okay. But here we take mu, this is equal to 1. So mu not less than 1. Clear? And since we take mu not less than 1, so we say by mu test i1, this is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 fx dx is divergent. Clear? And since the first part of this integration is divergent, so there is no question to prove or try to prove the convergence of the sequence. So we say that the integration is must diverge. Okay? This is divergent improper integration. 